Welcome to Inflatable Stuff Authority. Today we are trying the Jilly Mino 11.6 XL. We're at Golden Ears National Park in BC and we're gonna see how this board does. Talk about who it's for and do some on-water tests. Okay, so now we're gonna do stability test, kind of see how it is. Just looking at the width of this bad boy, I kind of feel that it's gonna be stable AF. So let's give it a shot here. Woo, that was quick. Oh yeah, this thing is very stable. Let's see, go on each side. I can get a good amount of rocker on each side there. Nice. Yeah, this board feels like it has really good primary stability. Like I, I can walk around the deck, which is pretty cool as well. That's pretty awesome. So this is the XL version. And just judging off this stability alone, I think you can have at least two adults on here just standing and paddling um i yeah two full-size adults can definitely have maybe even a three-person family or something but probably be sitting for that one if you have a extra kid just for safety reasons and whatnot now we're gonna do some tracking tests so yeah now we're gonna do some tracking tests so we're gonna use the little buoy right in the middle of the water there as kind of like a little guide. So kind of start paddling a little bit, just get a little bit of momentum, see how many strokes each side before I really need to crack. So let's start the left here. Okay, I just I'm just kidding. Okay, let's start now. One. Okay, so about nine strokes. Whew, he's going crazy there. Let's try the other side here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, I'd say about eight to nine strokes per side. Um, I did find the board is veering a little bit more to the left, but still that's actually really good tracking stats, especially considering it's a little bit of a wider board. I think this is actually probably one of the better scores from a wider board. But yeah, uh, if you have the center fin and two side fins, with this board, then you're gonna have pretty good tracking. Pretty impressed. All right, now we're gonna paddle like heck on this board and see how it goes. Should be noted that I'm using the full carbon paddle by Jilly. So that will make things a little bit easier when paddling, but we'll just get a feel for how this board paddles whenever you're going a bit faster. And I realize this isn't like a touring board or anything like that. I'm not expecting like super fast speeds like from the 12.6 Mino touring board, but yeah, we'll just see how it does. So let's try it. Yeah, this board actually moves at a decent clip. Not too bad, considering it's a little bit wider. Let's 
So yeah, I think definitely this board is really well suited to these conditions here in the lake. Um, if I was to try this with the tidal conditions I faced yesterday, the 12.6 Mino, be a little bit more difficult, but definitely for the Mino 11.6, this board, I would say that it's good for lake conditions, very calm coastal conditions with not very much uh, wind or tidal influxes. Slow moving bigger rivers as well, probably be good. Could probably do some coastal paddling, but again, look at your timetable, tide tables, and uh, the wind as well as weather, etc. Yeah. Overall though, speed felt pretty good. Like paddling this board hard, I liked it. So I think before the boat waves get to me here, now's a good time to do some maneuverability tests. Now there is some wave of some wind coming towards my back right side. So it is going to sway it a little bit, but let's just try some side paddles. So let's do it. Stop. Let's try from the other side this time. a pretty good score for this 11 side paddles for a bit of a longer board a bit heavier it's pretty good and i was going against the wind too so it's pretty interesting so now let's do some reverse sweep strokes see what we can do here so we'll try from the other side here So about five, five reverse sweep strokes. Seems to be kind of the standard these days. Now I'm doing this when waves are starting to catch me here. But no, the board is pretty maneuverable. I just found doing the reverse sweep strokes. Definitely have to put a little bit more oomph into it. Especially a board that takes up a little more mass like the Jilly Mino 11.6. But overall, handles pretty well. Oh, and here's when the waves really start to come in now. So you can kind of even see. This handles waves actually pretty good. Like, when I was doing some of those maneuvers, I was, <laughs> there were some waves coming at me. I thought I'd beat them, but apparently not so. But no, it, board is pretty stable, especially when there's a lot of boats around. So if you have a lake that's crowded with a lot of boaters, you're sort of a newbie. You don't want to fall off your board each time. This is a pretty good pick, not gonna lie. Just a little note about the uh, place we're at right now, Golden Ears. Doesn't it give you Jurassic Park vibes a little bit? <laughs> um, but also if you are coming here, you're visiting BC or you're in BC, uh, definitely get, you have to do a little reservation kind of thing, which is free. You just have to book your name. And yeah, that's the only way these days in the summer they let you into the park is through the reservation system. Ooh, we get into more waves. But again, stable. Stability is definitely the, mean, the Mino 11.6 XL's uh, big strong point. If I was on maybe a little bit of a narrower 32 inch board, I'd have to concentrate a little bit more with these waves, but now I can just blabble 
and you know keep talking while waves are coming I don't even have to worry about my balance or anything like that so that's a really nice thing with this board I also really like the um, onboard accessories like you have the action mount right at the top which I really like I think that's the best action mount cam placement you got these guys here and you also have this very handy dandy paddle holder which I think is very well designed um, I think Jilly definitely they're on point when it comes to that there's kayak seat mounts as well as even um, this ra uh, Scotty rack mounts as well so you can put fishing rod holders in there fishing racks as mentioned above before show you the rear deck bungee that has three rows which I also appreciate as well um, which makes me think this is actually a really good um, overnight board super stable made of probably the best materials that Jilly has it also has a lot of deck room like this bungee deck storage here three rows big wide space so you can put bigger dry bags camping gear even etc so it could be a good overnight board if you're not looking to like paddle super long distances but rather just enjoy the trip slash journey it's a good board i feel like i should film this section as well paddling against wind and some waves here on alouette lake board's handling pretty good i mean it's making a bunch of thunking noise but it's a bigger platform and waves are slapping against it so i mean what do you expect but yeah i mean i'm definitely making some headway which is good something you always kind of be a little worry about with wider boards is that make sure you can actually make some headway whenever nature's forces are against you in this case this board is making pretty good headway my paddles have to be a little bit more efficient stronger than what I was doing when I was doing a test going this way but overall pretty good another thing to note too like this board feels super rigid like whenever I'm jumping on it it stops almost instantly really good which means it has you know really good materials made of dual layer fusion and it has carbon side rails as well which really helps stiffen up the board i'm jumping on it and then it just stops pretty good uh, i'm sure on bend test this board would do really well probably close to maybe the one inch mark around that maybe one 1.1 1 1.2 but yeah this board is definitely pretty rigid so we, we go into the jurassic park like wreckage <laughs> swear to god there's gonna be some sort of like t-rex coming at me from uh, the forest there what are my final impressions of the jelly mino 11.6 xl Oh, that's pretty good. I'm actually really impressed. It did a little bit better than I expected in terms of the tracking tests, maneuverability tests, um, especially with the three fin setup. I think it's a great, it's a great sort of cruiser board where you just paddle and chill essentially. It can be great all purpose board. I mean, you can have probably two adults standing while paddling, kids, a dog for sure um maybe just remove the bungee deck webbing whenever you have them on there but overall super impressed with this board um stability is the name of the game for you and you just want something to stand on you don't care that much about speed um it's it's a pretty good board i really like it so yeah, highly recommended, um, especially for bigger guys, bigger gals. Pretty good 
handy board to have. We'll go around this log here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, see, now you're going against the wind, the wind and the waves a bit. But you know, it's still manageable. Paddle a little bit harder than the way I did it here, but it's pretty good. Yeah, overall, highly recommend Jilly Mino 11.6. Thank you for tuning into Inflatable Sub Authority's review of Jilly Mino 11.6 XL. Um, see you for next reviews. If you like this content, like and subscribe.